supported by some very promising younger talent. Watch out particularly for Linton and Oakes. And then, of course, there's a very strong Welsh influence with Luton these days. Swansea-born John Hartson scored the first of the two goals against Newcastle, and his aerial prowess will surely test Cardiff. Kerry Hughes, he missed the Newcastle game through suspension, but now the Ronda-born player is back to turn out against the club. He used to support from the Ninian Park terraces. Our man in the middle is Roger Dilts from Lancashire, one of the more experienced referees around he's been on the league list now for 10 seasons so we're all set a raw blustery south wales afternoon the rain and the sleet of the morning has held off and we're all set cardiff city and luton each 90 minutes away perhaps from a place in the quarterfinals of the 1994 fa cup if cardiff can repeat the form of manchester city and luton can again show the form that they gave us against Newcastle we could be in for a real thriller here on what is a marvellous day for both clubs and in this first half it's Cardiff City all in blue as usual who'll be attacking the goal away to our left but an early throw in for Luton Town this is Gary Thompson pressurised from behind by the diminutive number 10 for Luton who's David Priest Watch out for him alongside Kerry Hughes in the midfield area for Luton. Luton particularly strong in midfield. They're a smooth passing side. And the pitch here, even though it's a little bit soft underfoot, could well suit them. The ground staff have been working hard on it. That far side over there has been heavily sanded. This is John Dreyer. But a first touch for Carl Dale. Carl Dale starting again for the first time this season for Carl. Oakes is on the left-hand side here for Luton. The board infield from Harper. Now then, Priest is onside this time. And badly tumbles as he half gets it away as far as Harper. And, well, Derek Brazil decides to just usher it out of play for the corner for the first time. Cardiff City defensively not entirely sure of their bearings. And the corner will be taken by Scott Oates. First of the game for Luton. The swirling wind here could cause a problem. As Drew comes, does he get there under pressure from Hartson? But does the second attempt. Mark Drew, well known now nationally for his penalty save against Keith Hill in the last round against Manchester City but one or two of his kicks downfield leave a little bit to be desired actually that penalty awarded to Manchester City for the foul on David Rowcastle came about because of a poor clearance by Drew Hughes Oops. Priest and Hughes is onside support infield from Telfer it's still Hughes it needs a good ball this is Telfer and the Scotsman Paul Telfer misses his kick at the near post and that surely should have been an early settling goal for the first division side here Hughes the Welshman sprung the offside trap here superbly timed his run ever so well the ball in was delivered well enough but Telfer couldn't make it count Should be Mark Drew's ball. Seven minutes remaining of the first half. Cardiff City nil, Leeton Town nil. Again, a lax clearance by Mark Drew. And that's given away by Bird. This is Priest. And this now is Oates who's onside. Scott Oates has Hartson in the centre. He's going all the way on his own and he scores. Lovely finish by Scott Oates. And a goal for Luton Town in the 39th minute. Beautifully taken by Scott Oates. This time Hartson the centre forward was the decoy in the centre. And Oates took it on himself, beat the last defender and drilled it in low beyond Mark Drew. A splendid goal, his seventh of the season.
It was the first time that when they get the break in behind uh, uh, Derek Brazil, you can see here they pinched the ball off, the, off a short goal kick, a lovely ball played through, and instead of wasting it where they've done in the past, he's pulled it back and then just drilled his spot. Unfortunately, no defender got close enough to prevent it. And the root cause of that goal, a very tall ball infield by Tony Bird, just inside the Luton half. That was intercepted by David Priest, immediately transferred wide for Scott Oakes. And as we hinted, the danger for Cardiff was going to come from the left-hand side. Again, this time it's Kerry Hughes, furthest run forward. It almost breaks for Oakes again. Now it's Linton. Cardiff City, a goal down to Luton. Hartson against Griffith. Through gets there. So this now a big examination of Cardiff City's FA Cup prospects. But remember, here at home against Middlesbrough in the third round, they were twice behind, but came back to force a replay, and then they won, of course, memorably at Ayrson Park. This is Sir. Cohen Griffith. Telford for Luton Town. Hartson. Oaks. Now on the right hand side is Oaks. And Drew will collect. given Tony Bird too much to do, I fear, but he has kept it in play. So it's away by Drea. Four minutes remaining in the first half then, Luton Town leading Cardiff, 1-0. But still a passionate Welsh roar from the Ninian Park crowd. The spirits of the crowd certainly not doused by that splendidly taken goal by Scott Oakes two and a half minutes ago. No clean sheet today for Mark Grew. This is Hartson. Luton looking quite threatening now every time they proceed forward. They could have scored prior to the goal with better delivery into the penalty area. It was noticeable for the goal that Oakes decided not to try and fire in the cross. Instead, he carried the ball into the penalty area himself on the ground, beat badly and slotted it beyond Mark Grew. Can Cardiff respond in the remaining two and a half minutes before half-time? certainly raised the roof That's in towards Richardson will it fall for Richardson now then Dale well he was onside Dale and Thompson both onside but the miss kick from Richardson wasn't miss kicked enough really from the Cardiff point of view got too much on it as far as his fellow strikers were concerned and through to summer Badly in the air this time, but nobody to pick up the pieces for Luton. On by Dale. This is Dreyer and Linton. The more cultured football coming all the time from Luton. The flag stayed down. Cardiff hesitant. Keith. Linton, this time the flag is up against Telfer in the centre, who is slow backtracking. 